Well, 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 I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm starstruck because we've got like some absolute legends in the studio, some wahini that do some amazing stuff <laughs> in the local region here. This is going to be a real interesting catch up. Millie, yes. Rochelle, how are you doing? Welcome to the studio. Hello. Welcome. We're happy to be here. Nice. So we're going to be uh, touching on Vegan Vibes soon about this amazing event that's happening in Mamanui very, very soon. Yes. First, so I want to roll the tape back a little bit first. Rochelle, okay. Yes. <laughs> I have known you for a while. I know. It's I, been a while. I don't even know how long it's been, like maybe 2010-ish. Oh, Yeah. For a very long time, we've and just been hanging out in the mount, in yeah. the bay. Well, it started off that you actually, I, I met you in a clothing store, retail oh, store that you yes, had. Yes, yes, it was. That's oh, going God. back a while. A long time. Rewind. <laughs> that's when I first met you. Yeah, yes, that's right. And yep. so things have changed and evolved, mm-hmm. and now you uh, put on with an amazing team that you have, a huge mm-hmm. team of uh, like awesome people that work with you, uh, these iconic impactful just truly like uh, meaningful events for communities many communities here in the Bay of Plenty region and beyond tell us what got you into doing this oh my gosh well it was a long time ago like I've been doing we well I we have been doing little big markets for like what has it been now 16 years what 16 years Okay, yeah. so like, yeah. how did you get started to that? So, well, actually going back to when you were saying that we had the shop, so my husband, Chris and I, do it together, and um, we had the shop, and it was, you know, recession times, to be honest with you, yeah. and I needed a side hustle, and it was kind of one of those things where I was like, well, no, we're not, no one's doing any markets here, and no one's really doing anything that's, you know, in that sort of vein, and so... That was pretty much why the market started. Was just I remember the first one, like, the first yeah. one, yeah. and it was like it was crazy, eh? Yeah, it was yeah, tiki really playing. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was like that was the first um, Christmas in the park. Christmas in the park. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Yes, okay. But it was it was pretty much like the little big markets, and we wanted to do an evening one, and right. then it would kind of turn into sort of that, and then we were raising money for charities, and we were like we it morphed into Christmas in the park, pretty much, but. Little big markets in terms of that's why we start, sort yes. of started that. And it was sort of, it started because we obviously, we needed a side hustle. Mm. But others that came in part, was part of the markets also needed their own side hustle. Because people were working full time, but then they needed to make extra money. And that's mm. kind of how the market sort of evolved into this really important incubation space for a lot of people. And so... Um, yeah, I think I wrangled maybe 30, 30 of my friends. Or so. It was mostly my creative friends. I was like, you do some really cool artwork. Why don't you come in? Just come in and have a stall at the markets. You know, it was like I just wrangled people yeah. to make the numbers. And then within about, I don't know, three or three or four months, it was like full blow and like, oh, my gosh, we, you know, we have to do um, get a bigger site and we had more people coming and all these random people wanting to apply and, this was way before I was selling it. It's like I feel really old, but it was like <laughs> the market. There was no, there was no Facebook had just started. What? Like so there, we weren't even marketing on Facebook. I'd have to hand deliver flyers and people's letter boxes. Going old school. It was mm-hmm. super old school. These are the roots of like connecting. The roots. I yeah. know. It was yeah, definitely sort of talking to your neighbours, you know, like and people in general. And when people applied for the markets, they couldn't apply through. It was like they had to hand write Write the application and post it to me. (laughs) Like it was crazy. So like, I mean, and it's not even like it was like old, old, old school, but it was back then it was kind of like that's how we connected and communicated, you know. And so then it's just evolved ever since then into something else. And so, and at the time too, Chris was, you know, we had the shop and then we ended up folding that because the markets were so busy and Chris is a full-time graphic designer and he was working for someone and then he had to fold that because I needed him to work in with me full-time. I'm just going to say, that man works hard. So hard. So Every time hard. I see him, he's like... Doing, he's just doing so many, so much. So like, hard. Come on, give us yeah. a hug, man. Like you are working oh, hard. No, he is definitely a silent assassin. Mm-hmm. Eh? Like, and even at the markets, you know, he'll just be like one gazebo, another gazebo <laughs> walking, and we're like, 
oh my god I, don't know how he I can't even it. pick up one and he's <laughs> yeah. got like four yeah. I'm like okay <laughs> yeah so yeah so it really quickly snowballed to like you know to something else and that we didn't really think was going to be like a full-time thing it was just a small little side hustle and that's why it's called little big markets because I was like it's this little thing but I have really big inspiration for it you know and that's kind of how the name came about as well was because I wasn't it really started quite little and, it, and now it's and not now it's not mm-hmm. yeah so and so where cool. does the little big markets like go these days because it's like not just one yeah. location right yeah well so it used to be back then that we do once a month and then it's now like pretty much in the winter time we do once a fortnight here and just in the mount but then in the summertime that's when we dial it up and it yeah. pretty much goes weekly yeah and we have once a month in Papamoa, once a month in Folamata yeah and then once a week pretty much every other week in um in the mount at Pro Nation. Okay. And then we do collaborate too. So yeah. like when someone is doing a festival yep. or something, they're like, we want some markets, then we'll kind of go wherever they're going or do yeah. whatever they're doing. And the CBD. CBD. Yeah, we've also connected with the CBD again. Nice. And we just know that place needs love and so that when it comes into full fruition, mm. um, we'll kind of, you know, be there helping to activate the city. It's just like I have so many memories of going along to the Little Big Markets and one – like, this is my one complaint. Having to wait for so long. Because so I many know. people go there, your marketing was I too know. good. I know, Like, it's just too busy. I'm yeah. like, oh, I've missed out on what I wanted to yeah. eat yeah. tonight. Yeah. Dang it. My flyers and people's letterboxes <laughs> were just too good. <laughs> but the thing I really loved about that was, you know, even just looking at the people that would come along, there was mm. families, lots of different, it was a big melting pot Real of people coming nervous. together, eh? Yeah. And you could yeah. see everyone just kind of sitting down next to each other, hanging out and meeting people for the first time mm. too, which is pretty mm. cool, in their own little area. So. Yeah. It was really cool. And it was really, I still, like, you know, like I still don't really, it's still pinch bear moments still, mm. even though we've been doing it for a really long time. And, and, you know, it's like that in events in general. Like you'll do, the, you know, the build up of a massive event or, and the event will happen and it's super successful and people come up to you and they're like, oh, my God, this is amazing. You're kind of in this like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't quite understand what impact you have mm. until later on. Or when you get an email from someone that's just like, you know, I just had lost all this confidence in myself and now I'm a storeholder and I was talking to so many people today and I just, I really wanted to say thank you for what you've done for me, you Mm. know, and I'm like, oh, I just didn't feel like we had, you know, like I knew we had impact, but it's when those moments come, it doesn't have to be this big thing, it just these little tiny gems that come out of that, that's the you know? thing, eh? Like I've seen some of these people that you have bought into little big markets and have had those. Th- th- they started off on mm. their stall doing their like you know their their fun thing, their hobby, mm. and it's flourished into mm. amazing businesses. Like there's been some success stories come through the little big markets, eh? Totally, yeah. Like, um, well, you know, Danny from SpongeBob, she started with us and. You know, she's a school friend of mine as well. I think I wrangled her in early on days. I'm like, come on, Danny, <laughs> you can do this. And now she's like, you know, got a full store that, you know, like a shop, you know, and sh- she's just doing some amazing things. And like even her wedding cake side of the business that people don't probably get to understand is like huge for her. So that's really cool. And like, yeah, like Johnny's dumplings. I mean, man, like, you know, that's that went gangbusters for them, mm. which is really cool. And there's lots of different people that I always forget. And then yeah. when you're talking about people, I'm like, oh, yeah, they started at the markets, you know, Every like real ranch. It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, good. they were at the markets. I'm like, who wasn't at the markets? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And who um, who started and just kind of – it's a it's a great starting point for anyone that just wants to give it something to go mm. and or evolve into something else or just meet people and just, like, have, like, collaborations with people. And yep. Like, there's, it's a really cool space for that type of um, – Papa, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. love yeah. it. And so, Little Big Markets is uh, a little big part of uh, what you do. You do mm. a lot of other amazing events across the the region that we've got there. Yeah, busy times coming up for summer, I would imagine, for you and the rest of the troops. Yeah, definitely. And like you know, Chris and I used to do it all on our own, but and we've had two children in that time as well. So <laughs> oh, like you, you know, no, so, so like I like my team is huge. Like I, we can't do it without our team, you know. So yeah. um, but busy times in summer season, we kind of double our capacity, you mm. know. And so yeah, summer is definitely sort of make hay while the sun shines, so to speak. And then in the winter time, we kind of dial it back a little bit, and then we kind of are in pre-production for the next summer season. So it's kind of 
yeah, we're about we're pretty much the summer season starts the Saturday, uh, the Sunday. Yeah. So mm. yeah, so then it's kind of and then once um, November kind of end of November that's when the dinner and the domains and stuff like that kick off, and that's when we have like sort of pretty much three events a week. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, sort of so next question for you, Rochelle, is uh, how do you relax with all this going on <laughs> in your life? <laughs> oh, what do you do? I really just don't. Oh. <laughs> no, I do, I do. Like, I am a, I am a active relaxer, so I guess for me, being social is actually a big part of, of who I am as a mm-hmm. person, so, and that must be really hard for people to understand because, like, Chris is the absolute opposite, so mm-hmm. he would rather just be in a forest recluse for the rest of his life if he could. <laughs> mm-hmm. and I need to be stimulated mm-hmm. by people all the time so um yeah I mean look just hanging out with the family and you know hanging out with my friends and doing social things is kind of what helps me obviously we live right by the beach I go to the beach almost every day like we kind of forget what type of a paradise we live in here you know and I yeah. think people take it for granted and sometimes you just need to kind of realize that we just we do we live in such a amazing space so going to the beach and doing all those things so yeah but I do enjoy being living on the edge all the time <laughs> I do and I, it's song, weird it? yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah I do yeah I, I am an active relaxer so I guess that's kind of why I do what I do yeah because it's not easy if it's not for the faint-hearted no. yeah. yeah yeah probably a lot of stress involved in it too I'd imagine but uh, i I'm sure Definitely. you handle it. I'm sure you handle it. <laughs> we've, we've had it all. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. Now, exciting times because uh, one of your events, iconic events, uh-huh. is uh, coming back to Marwell real soon. Yes. So, Millie, fill us in. Like, this is this is an iconic event. And yeah. so tell us what, what people are in store for. Um, so Vegan Vibes is coming up Saturday, the 26th of October, Labor Weekend. And I think this is our seventh year yep. running Vegan Vibes. And it's basically a massive community event. So this event isn't just for vegans, it's for everyone. Um, Oh my God, there's so much happening. We've got live music, loads of local artists. We've got speakers doing food demos, matcha, protein balls. And then we have markets, food lanes, free mini golf, games, um, free face painting, photo booths. There's so much more. I'm probably forgetting. Pottery workshops, sewing workshops, sewing workshops, free yoga. It's, it's a really amazing. cool. Yeah, it's a really cool event. And it's only fifteen dollars for adults and kids are free. And you can come in and just go wild all day long. There's so much to do. <laughs> Have you been to Vegan Vibes before? No, I haven't. I'm <sighs> definitely excited to get stuck in. Yeah. Definitely. And because this sounds like a family friendly so event, right? Definitely. And with workshops and everything like yeah. that, there's something to yeah. entertain the kids and everyone so involved. Much. The kids yeah. will have the time of their life. There's like games everywhere there's so many little areas they can go to get their face painted get pictures and then go play golf and then go play giant jenga and listen to music eat food like such a good time i went to the first vegan yeah. vibes and i remember i was working there i think mm. uh and so i oh. okay i wasn't i don't know if it was part of the gig or not but i really enjoyed the fact of going around to every stall meeting all the people that were there and they were giving me samples of oh, all yeah. the food and oh my word it was yeah. off the off the charts. Vegan Christmas. It, w- it yeah. was. <laughs> it was so, so good. So much good food. Yeah. Honestly, even if you're not vegan, like people come and they get they'll get some tacos from Hello Rosie and they'll be like, "These are the best tacos I've ever had." And I'm like, "You know they're vegan." And they're like, "No, they're not." And I'm like, "Yeah, everything is like it's so." It's good. like the fried chicken I had there when I was just like, "What yeah, yeah. the heck is this? Yeah. Can I have some more, please?" Yeah. It's the food is so good, and we have people come from all over New Zealand with their food trucks. So you'll definitely get something different that you don't see at the markets or at the dinners. There are people coming from all over. Yeah. Cool. And so you've got some guest speakers there as well. So what yep. what, do, what do they offer uh, in that kind of capacity there? So we have five different speakers this year. Um, we've got Matcha Wednesday girls coming. So they've okay. launched a matcha business that's doing so well. They're local girls. So they're going to come and demonstrate how to make the perfect matcha. I think I've seen them um, online. Yeah, 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 Jenna yeah. and Ashley. Yeah, they're really cool girls. Yeah, and then we've got Healthy Kelsey coming, who has a cookbook, and she's going to be doing some cooking demos. We've got Jim, who does forestry workshops, so he's going to come and talk about growing your own food. We've got Black Sheep Animal Sanctuary coming from Wellington, who are going to be talking about like volunteering at their animal sanctuary. And then we have Ben, who's a vegan athlete, who's going to come and talk about 
being a vegan athlete and yeah it's pretty awesome stacked with lots of stuff there um, yeah and so <laughs> this is probably a question for both of you combined together is that so seven years to seven yeah so there's the seventh year mm-hmm. of vegan vibes mm-hmm. What's changed since the first one to now? What What's the difference? What's I'd say that's a good Rochelle question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I think because every year there's new vendors, which yeah. changes the dynamics, you know. Yeah. So, like, every time, I mean, obviously I'm there every single time, and every time I'm just blown away by the new talent that's coming through, whether it's food or whether it's a craft or, you know. And every year we have different types of speakers and mm-hmm. different activations and different music. music. So it always adds different types of elements you know mm. um so yeah so i think just the vendors that make it different for us yeah i mean like we've added in like the sewing workshop which is awesome yeah. and she is locally here as well she does some local workshops and um i just think that'd be so cool because i think all of these old school ways of living and being sustainable mm-hmm. and, and it's all coming back but it's not something that's just easily accessible. Not everyone has a sewing machine at home, you mm-hmm. know, and but they're curious and they want to learn more. So things like that I think is really cool because kids can get amongst it and adults can get amongst it. And mm. um, so I think, like, the sewing workshop's quite cool. Yeah, so And cool. the pottery workshop's really good too. Like, just really hands-on and you can give everything a go. Or lots of people just come and just sit and they just relax and they just, like, the atmosphere kind of takes them over Mm. so yeah every year I reckon it's the same kind of like um environment but the vendors change what's on offer okay yeah next really hard-hitting question now because I love my food what would and I know there's there's going to be lots of amazing vendors there Millie what's your pick of the one that you're like one uh, one that you're like okay I really need to get my hands on this okay so there's going to be a one-off special for Vegan Vibes Pippies, who are a local family that do real fruit ice cream, vegan real fruit ice cream, which I've never tried real fruit ice cream in my life. Been in New Zealand for two years, so that's my pick. I'm going straight there. Pippies? <laughs> yeah, Pippies. Okay, yeah. there we go, there we go. So, and it's all going down on the long weekend that's mm-hmm. coming yeah. up. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of people probably coming from all around the country. Yeah, and the cool thing about it too is that it's a long weekend, so you can make a weekend of it, but there's so much going on in the Bay of Plenty, Mm. which I think is awesome. Like, I love it, you know, like when there's lots of different events Mm -hmm. happening because, you know, you can come to Vegan Vibes and you can go over to the, you know, Y Marino and Mm. go to that opening and then you can go to the beach, you can go to just downtown the mount or everywhere yeah. so there's so much to do on a long weekend mm. so i'm kind of excited of the fact that there's lots going on and also there's lots of businesses that get on board with vegan vibes leading up to it as well so we have like rice rice babies doing a specific yeah. vegan dish for that whole month of october cool we've also got the rising tide that's just launching that's already launched it yeah. launched on the first of october the new vegan dumplings like they've already got them but they're doing a specific kind of um one for the month of october so there's lots of different restaurants that are getting on board as well yep. that are like really um, helping us with our plant-based festival, which kind of, it just shows you that, you know, that you don't have to be physically there. Mm. They can kind of jump on and sort of help, mm-hmm. um, you know, with the festival and what we do. So that's really cool as well, eh? Yeah, so cool. We've got like Pluto's just launched like a special vegan salad and mm. yeah, it's awesome. Mm, cool. So it's, uh, I think there's probably people that are watching this right now go. I'm curious. Oh, yeah. I haven't explored this before. Mm-hmm. I think I might want to come along. Yeah. So how can we get tickets and where can we find all the information about what's going to be happening on the day? Yeah. So I'd say our Instagram and Facebook are the main hub for finding out what's going on. Um, the ticket links are on the Instagram and Facebook, but you can get your tickets on Ticket Ferry. I'm thinking as well, if for people that are going along, don't do the rookie mistake that like I've done to some of Rochelle's uh, events and turn <laughs> up too late no. and the food's all gone. And the experience, Seriously. you know, like it's that's part of the experience. Mm. You want to sit yeah. down. It's going to be beautiful weather. I just know. Uh, and you're just going to be able to hang out and just uh, absorb Get your all, early. all these different things. Yeah. I mean, you see like there's golf there as well. Like, there's mm-hmm. golf, yeah, mini golf, fruity. Um, yeah, last year we had Mama's Donuts. They sold out in 45 minutes. Okay. So people were like, I want donuts. And they were like, what do we do? We're like, we had, they had stacks of donuts and they just went. (laughs) So get your food early. 
Yeah. Totally. Cool. All right. Well, look, we really appreciate you two coming into the studio. I have a feeling that this probably won't be the last time you guys come in because you're super busy. And what you do for the community of bringing people together is such a, it's an important thing, right? It's mm -hmm. such a special thing. So uh, we're really keen to hang out again and find out what's the next thing that's coming up. Because I know you guys have got lots of... We do. Come yeah. so, there's so much in the pipeline too. There's so many different things. With, yep. You know, even Christmas with like in the park. Christmas in the park and oh. Feast of a Feast yep. and all sorts of um, flavours of plenty. We're doing some stuff with them, which is really cool. I mean, not flavours of plenty. Um, yeah, flavours of plenty. I was thinking the beaks of plenty, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> flavours of plenty. We've got some kind of, we might be bringing, you know, some some things back for that. that oh, some secrets. It. We like yeah. our secrets. Yeah. So we, we, um, we're in the pipeline with a few things. So it'll be really cool to come back and talk about those. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's an yeah, absolute pleasure. And yeah, we're just wishing you all the very best for Vegan Fives. We know it's going to be amazing. And yeah, like I said, if you're watching this and you're I'm sitting on the fence, sit on the fence no longer. Go yeah. and experience it. Get it's it. been, it's the it. seventh year. Yeah. There's a lot of magic that's happening there. A lot of awesome people connecting together, which is a, the important thing. That's what it's yeah. all about, people coming yeah, together. Definitely. And the cool thing too is is that like basically tickets are on sale right up until the day. And you can also go on on the day and just pay, um, pay a door fee as well. So it's not like you have the tickets cut off. It's like if you feel like that morning you want to come, then you know it's easy to just turn up and you're in kind of thing. I like it. Yeah. Awesome. Millie, Rochelle, thank you so much for coming thank and joining you. us on the show. It's been so much fun. We will see you again real soon. Yes, yeah, three weeks. Vegan <laughs> <Speaking> vibes. <laughs> <laughs> nice.